drill and tap for M2 screws. All right, so this is a 1.6 millimeter drill bit. So it sits right here, it's too long. And if I put it like this on the drill chuck, it's gonna stick out too much. So what I do is I cut a little piece, cut away from your eyes. And there you go. Okay, so it's tomorrow, the day after yesterday. Let's have a little conversation about the tabs. There are many different types of tabs. You've seen me before use what's called a bottoming tab, which means the tip here is flat. But there's also a difference. There are forming tabs, this is a forming tap, and this is a cutting tap. You've seen me use this 256 bottoming tap. This is a cutting tap. When you use a cutting tap, you need a specific drill bit. If you're using a forming tap of the same size, you need to drill a hole a little bit bigger. That's why I use a 256 cutting tap and therefore I use a number 50 drill bit. If I wanted to use a forming 256 tab, I would have to use a 564th, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that number with me right now. But for today, we're using matrix, metric tools. So you see we have a larger post in the front, two little ones in the back. So what's the difference? So a cutting, you drill the hole a little bit smaller because it will cut the threads on the metal. Forming tab needs to be, the hole needs to be a little bit bigger because this tab is not designed to cut metal away. What you're doing is you're forming the metal that's already there. So it's going to push metal and then metal is going to come out and that's how it's going to create the thread so for a forming tab you need a 1.8 millimeter drill bit i'm going to use that in the front and in the back to use a cutting tab you need a 1.6 millimeter tap which is this one so let me get uh, the drill ready and I'll be back.
So here we have some M2 screws by four millimeter long. You could get them three millimeter long too, but they are kind of expensive. But if you want to do the job right, there it goes in the front. Especially for the pickups, a three millimeter might work better. See, let's try on the base and try everything, see how it comes together. All right, so here you see why three millimeter would have been better for the back. So I have to drill again. This is why I always test this before I paint. So I'm gonna have to drill a little bit longer to be able to fit the screw all the way in. Now let me take it back apart and do it all over again. Elegant is the only word that I can think of. See how that uh, looks perfect. Now it's up to you if you want to paint the screws red to match the base. Well, I don't know if I'm doing this red again. So, But I prefer to leave the screws always unpainted. Because in the event that it strips, I could just replace it. And I don't have to worry about painting another screw. That's how I go about it. But now I'm ready to strip the paint and see if I could fix that uh, that roof. See what happens. All right. To close out this section, if you're using the incorrect tap, like a pointy one, like this one, remember you're probably cutting down. So you have all the debris going down. Then you have a tap that can't go all the way down. You're trying to force it, and that's how you break up and up bringing the taps. So make sure you use a bottoming tap like this one. Now, it's up to you if you want to use the forming or the cutting. To me, I prefer the cutting. I feel that... Uh, a lot more simpler since uh, with the forming you have to drill with a bigger size of hole or a bigger hole when it comes to the drill I'll try to use automatic ones like this one uh, the old kinds where they have the key they tend to wobble a lot so dealing with such a small uh, drill bit automatic seems to work better and remember uh, if, if you go to a dentist to get your teeth clean the dentist does not take your teeth out and puts them on the table to use the rotary tool he does it straight in your mouth so when it comes to, to the millimeter uh, tools I find them to be very expensive uh, it's really up to you if you want to go that route. It's very difficult that you're going to find tools like this locally. So you're probably going to end up ordering them online. So I would go with the 172 and the 256 screws. Because you have two different sizes of screws to work with a lot more cars. If you go with the M2 screw, M2 is, it sits in between the 172 and the 256 but you have a lot more options and 
the 172 and the 256 screws are way cheaper than the M2 uh, times 3 millimeter and times 4 millimeter. So if you're already ordering online, I much rather do the 172 and the 256. The tabs are cheaper. Everything is cheaper on the other side. So let's uh, jump to the other section of this video.